Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for April 12th. So, let's get started. First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, April 12th, 1861, the Civil War began when the Confederate artillery opened fire on Fort Sumter, the federal fort in Charleston Harbor, South Carolina. Fort Sumter surrendered 34 hours later. Union forces would try for nearly four years to take it back. Also, on this day in 1877, the catcher for Harvard's baseball team wore a modified fencing mask behind the plate. It's believed to be the first time a catcher's mask was used during a game. And on this day in 1924, Peter Safer, an Austrian-American physician, was born. He developed the procedure of mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, which is credited with saving countless lives. In the 1960s, the technique was combined with new chest compression techniques, producing what's known today as CPR, or cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the word quench. The word quench has a few meanings. If you quench your thirst, it means that you drink a glass of water so that you're not thirsty anymore. If you quench a fire, it means that you pour water on it to cool it down and put it out. The word quench can also be used when you satisfy a need. You could say, reading this book quenched my thirst for knowledge. <laughs> Today on Extremes, we ask, what is the most expensive insect ever sold? The answer is a giant stag beetle. It was bought for the equivalent of $90,000 in Tokyo. This remarkable beetle was 3.1 inches, or 7.8 centimeters, and was bought by the president of a company for his personal collection. Wow, that fellow really likes his insects. Health tips. Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes doctors give special medicine to people. These are called prescription medicine. Never take a prescription medicine unless it was meant especially for you. Hey, as a matter of fact, never take any medicine unless a doctor, nurse, or trusted adult like your parent gives it to you. Never use medicine that belongs to another person, even your brother or sister. I dive in do you have a lawn at home? Most Americans use lots of chemicals on their lawn to keep insects from eating their plants and weeds from growing in the grass. In fact, the average American uses more chemicals on their lawns per acre than farmers use in their fields. Now those chemicals can seep into the soil and can make plants and animals very sick. So ask your parents if they use chemicals to keep your lawn looking green. If they do, ask them to go to the garden store with you to find earth-friendly ways to take care of your lawn. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>